Speaking of men that have never ever done a hard day's work in their life, Chris Mitchell, how are you? You cheeky so and so. <laughs> yeah, nice to be here. Thank you for inviting me on the show. Uh, hello to the chat, and uh, yeah, great show as always, Dave. Uh, good to see you've come a long way in the last few years. Do, do, do you know what uh, Ronald Reagan said? Mm. Ronald Reagan said, they say hard work never killed anybody, but I thought, why take the risk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that was quite a good one. I mean, that, that's the thing is like, the the the, the thing about like, with the farmers and everything is, it, it's not just the physical work, it's the it's the hours that these guys put in, you know, or, yeah. or anyone that works hard hours. Like, your average politician, they just don't get it. Like, to be a politician now, you're on 100K, You've got an office in London. You've not got a boss. I mean, you couldn't actually get a cushier job than that. Yeah, I agree. Absolutely agree. Obviously, I'm I'm living in Norfolk now, so I, you know, uh, I've come across one or two farmers over the last couple of years. So, yeah, I have a lot of sympathy for what's going on at the moment. So, you know, I thought also wear the wear the old farmer's hat as well, out of respect for them. Yeah, no, I, but the only the only side, as I said, the only problem with them is. And my experience of dealing with them is that they still believe in the system. Like, yeah, 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 completely agree. Yeah. You know, they just think that, oh, well, you know, the, 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 the farm workers, they, they're just, they don't realize that, that they hate farmers, you know, yeah. and, and they hate the, pro, the, the, and it's not just that, it's the notion of anybody being independent from the state, the notion of people being able to look after themselves, like communists by and large, they just hate that. Yeah, yeah, agreed. You made a good point earlier in one of your videos about um, the Trump election. Obviously, everyone thought it was rigged. Uh, well, I, I, I thought it was rigged, uh, in my um, in my opinion, four years ago. And now everyone believes in the system. Uh, I quite enjoyed your little uh, monologue earlier, to be fair. I thought you were spot on. Well, thanks, uh, Chris. I have to say, I, I didn't really come up with that myself. I actually have to give much of the credit that to Andrew Anglin, who, who wrote quite a good piece on it. And, and that... that mm -hmm. I mean, I extrapolated from it, but what he was saying is that, you know, you had a situation where no one trusted the government. Now they, yeah. they fully trust the government. But then, I mean, look at some of the names that are being announced for Trump to to bring in now. And I think we all knew it was coming now, didn't we? Like, I mean, we, uh, it, it, we, we it's, a, it's a difficult one with Trump because we kind of look like hypocrites to a degree because it, it's hard not to celebrate because the, the, the left and the liberal meltdowns is so great to see. And Trump, does have that bit of character and charisma about him and does say some okay things but then it then it all points down to the old israel question and getting as many zionists on that admin team which uh i'm sure that we'll have a few complaints uh, to talk about in the upcoming years however i do think it is the best of both worlds that he's uh the best of a bad bunch should we say um that's in power right now so yeah, yeah. What, what, so how, how's life with you in general, Chris? Because you you weren't on the scene for a wee while. You're back again. Are you are you keeping well? Yeah. So obviously we had the drag queen stuff. I had to do my uh, 150 hours community service. Uh, pay the 1500 pound fine. I tried to keep that as a minimum to uh, delay that process by giving them 100 pound a month. I was like, oh, I can only afford 100 pound a month. Uh, so that was a bit of a night. I actually enjoy the community service. Actually, cleaning graveyards a lot of the time. So. I was like, mate, like I've done this anyway. Like when I was in the Independent Nationalist Network, uh, I've done similar things with Pit Pit HS Alternative in the past as well. So I quite enjoyed the community service. I actually met some good good people on it as well. And what sort of people was on the community service? Uh, to be fair, they're, they're, a lot of them were all there for drink driving. So when they asked, right. me, oh, "What are you in for?" <laughs> I was like, "Oh, like, I said a drag queen was grooming children." And yeah, like, <laughs> a bit of a shock to their system because I don't think they not many people have heard that. Uh, but yeah, met some great people, met some great friends. Uh, I even met one that I, I speak to regularly. I brought him to nationally Smiths and everything. Um, they split us up uh, eventually. Obviously, like, don't, you can't be together. You would have to split you guys up. So yeah, I thought it worked very well. And again, when you're you're out of no choice, you have to like clean these graveyards, and that was the majority of the work I did. And I've done other stuff like gardening and things like that. You know. Um, but I think that's quite a fulfilling thing to do. Is I, is, 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 is I think clean, clean the graveyards because so many graveyards are in an absolutely terrible state now. Are, I mean, yeah. the, that I mean, you don't see much community service now. Like I remember when I was young, you used to see like, I mean, it wasn't chain gangs, but I mean, you kind of knew when you saw it. Is it yeah. still? Do they still do much of it like that? 
No, nah, but I mean, like, you just wear, like, a, a high-vis uh, right. uh, high jacket like there, and it'll say, like, a community worker or whatever. So, yeah, you, people walking by wouldn't know you're on it. <laughs> um, I didn't mind. I, I quite enjoyed it. I even thought the uh, the supervisor woman was uh, brilliant. I tried to get her in a few chats, like, like I'm saying nothing. I'm on duty. <laughs> I actually sit out. Like, I'm not going to mention names to drop her in it at all. Um but so I let's just, to, 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 I'm just interested because I know we've got something else to talk about, but do you, do you think like community service that, because I, I I think that people going to jail is such a waste of time and money for so many different things. Like all yeah. these people that have been sent to prison for what happened during the disorder, of course, yeah, yeah. none of them should be in prison. It's a complete Great. joke. These people could do community service. Um, do you know what I mean? Yeah. But do you think, do, you, do you, what, what what would you think about now you've done that do you think shaming people would work or do you think like because that's what they used to do like in america they used to have chain gangs and things like that or do you think that's humiliating um well, yeah i think it may be quite humiliating but uh yeah it's a good question i think it, yeah it probably be, would be humiliating but i enjoyed i enjoyed every minute i did um uh, the only the only my only um got it because i've done a friday uh because if you're, I had to do a Sunday, they didn't do Saturdays. They got a Sunday, which I could have done, but then I would have to get like, because I don't drive, I would have to get like an hour and a half bus to another county, uh, Suffolk, yeah. Um, it would have took me ages. So I had an agreement with my manager, who's pretty based. He's actually like really on side. And I'll mention the topic we're coming up soon. He had me in the office as well uh, about the next topic we'll talk about shortly. Um, so I done a Friday, I come out of agreement. So obviously I lost. I lost so much money by doing it on a Friday every every, uh, every week and so 150 hours were completed. But I loved it, man. I absolutely loved it. Um, so, so it was mostly like the, driving. Most of them were well here, yeah, here in Norfolk. Obviously, if I was doing it in, back in my home city, Birmingham, uh, I'm sure I would have met one or two uh, people that are not ethnically English or ethnically British in any any way, shape, or form. If I was back in Birmingham, and probably a lot more dodgier crimes, but. Yeah, it's pretty pretty safe where I am in uh, in Norfolk. Uh, Great Yarmouth is now uh, becoming on a bit of a decline. Um, it's now like I, I, it's now literally a mini Birmingham in Great Yarmouth. So if yeah. anyone wants a holiday to uh, Norfolk, please do come. It is amazing. However, uh, I, I'd give uh, Great Yarmouth a, a, a bit of a wide berth. Yeah, is is it not is it not like a former seaside town it is a bit you know i've gone down the hill a wee bit a bit yeah it's trash man like I, I will be doing a vlog on it soon like um yeah i i, I actually was meant to be doing a vlog i had about four mates come down purposely to film this vlog and go out on the deck you know i do my travel videos yeah yeah well. yeah people are saying um, they like them yeah uh, thank you um so i was gonna do a uh, one on great yarmouth and, and show and just show the truth. Do you know what I mean? I, I, any country I go to, any place I go to, I don't, I don't be biased about it. I just show the truth. I, I'll film what I see myself, and um, and you'll be pretty uh, horrified about the things that you see in Great Yarmouth. What's and the ethnic? It's mix like? dangerous for me to do it as well, uh, which is quite shocking to think that in a seaside seaside place in 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 um, in England. Is now actually dangerous for me to go and actually film some of the stuff. What, what's, what the eth- what's the ethnic what, makeup? What, but it was pissing down the rain, so I couldn't film. <laughs> Sorry. Um, the, yeah, we're, we're still the majority uh, in the whole of Norfolk uh, quite comfortably. Uh, however, Great Yarmouth, like, I dread to think. I don't know what the actual percentage is. Uh, and obviously, that's why Reform actually uh, got in power in my constituency. Um, right. Because girls, the girls are just not feeling safe at all right now. Uh, in Great Yarmouth, I went. I went to um, a nightclub just uh, two weeks ago. I've never been there before, just because I was out with my mate and his 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 girlfriend for a Halloween party, and and she was like, "Oh, please come here." And well, we went there, and honestly, I, I seen her on the dance floor. My mate was at the bar, and uh, I seen her on the dance floor, and all these uh, foreigners, should we say, trying to get close to uh, to to the uh to the woman there and i had to just go out i thought it was going to kick off i had to push around the way i was like look man leave her alone man she, she's got a husband over there like it's going to kick off I had to drag her away yeah like thankfully it didn't you know it was, it was quite cool but yeah it's it's, it's not yeah, that's sad. the thing I, I, that's the thing again I, I was down in london i was talking about that is you're in the center of london yeah it's like you, you know a, 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 a scene from space these incredible buildings 
it's mobbed, there's loads of money, the tills are jangling. You just go 15 minutes out, though, and it's like a third world country. Yeah. And it's the same. And so the, the problem is in the UK is you've got pockets of real wealth where people are wealthy. And then all the people that make the decisions all live in these really wealthy areas. They all associate with middle to upper class people, people who earn yeah, six figure yeah. salaries. You know, they're not in Great Yarmouth. Like I, I go down to Ayrshire quite a lot. And like I, I like it. It's, it's lovely. But I mean, you see it places like Ayr which used to be a, a, an amazing town, down towards Girvan, Irvin, these places. And, I mean, they're grim. And, like, Blackpool, some of Blackpool's still pretty okay, but a lot of it is just really grim. And, yeah. and it, it, you, you know, when you actually go around the UK, you see it, and you see it in the high streets. Yeah, of course, of course. Just on a side note there, before we move on, I, I, I've never been to Scotland. Where would you recommend me go to Scotland and obviously do my, uh, my vlogging? Well, you can come up and say hello to me. Is I, I would always go to the West Coast. West Coast, yeah. All right, well, you can help me with a vlog. Come Get to back. Glasgow, and then Ayrshire is really nice, and then you can go up Loch Lomond and up towards the the the, the, the West Coast. It's it's really nice. Yeah, um, all right. All right, cool. it's, 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 it's lovely, and we can show you some of the, the not-so-nice parts of it. But no, Glasgow's Glasgow's nice. Yeah. Um. I, I, yeah. Most people when they come up to Scotland go to Edinburgh. Of I don't course. actually. Re I don't really like Edinburgh that much. If I'm being honest. Yeah. Well, but like, uh, obviously, that's just the typical touristy place to go in it. Like, I, I, I like to visit those. Uh, yeah, I, I still go to the tourist place as a as a hub, I guess. But then I want to go and visit more outside the tourist areas and. Yeah, and I, I would recommend the west coast, and there's okay. it's, it's 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 much more rugged. And yeah. um, you know the scenery's scenery's great. But anyway, the, the reason for getting you on, Chris, was you went to a reform meeting, yeah. and um, you've actually got this up on your uh, YouTube channel, and you got kicked out of the reform meeting. Now is that Rupert Low MP? Yeah, yeah, that's our that's our MP, Rupert Low. He's uh, the MP. He, he doesn't take a salary, does he? Big. No, to be fair, like uh, Rupert Low, like um, he does. He, he gets. He, Every every salary he, he gets, he donates it to a, a worthy cause. So you know, I'm going to compliment him. Obviously, we, we're going to have our disagreements with reform. However, uh, he's actually been pretty decent. You know, he's actually done it into um, done, done a very very good few things. Like he he donated to some uh, I can't remember the exact name. It was Hemsby Cafe or something where old, old age pensioners can go there, get free free coffee for like a free sandwich and stuff. So you know, like. Hats off, um, hats off to him to a, to a certain extent, of course. And I just I just want to also say, like, because I put here, I got kicked out of the reform meeting. This is actually one of the, the regrets of my um, because it kind of over, overshadows why I've done it. But the, the whole point of me going was to get demographics on on the talking points, but it kind of gets overshadowed because there's been an argument. Oh, we got kicked out for recording. Maybe I did. Um, I stopped recording at the end, which we'll see in the video shortly. Um, right, let me well, let's watch this. Let's watch this. Thing. It's, let's it's, watch it's this. It's one of my, sorry, it's one of my regrets saying I got kicked out because that's become a, a bit of a talking point. I don't want that to be a talking point. I don't want to be the center of attention. I want the center. The center of attention I want is uh, is the talking points of demographics. Okay, so if you were going to meetings and not getting kicked out, I would be disappointed in you. All right. <laughs> All right, so well, especially well, especially with these kind of guys, right? Let's let's play this and hear well, what they've well, got to say. The two people who did this, who in my view, agrees were well within their right to this. There is an individual who said that we hope you will. Birmingham, yeah. I, I, okay, so I I am from Birmingham, yeah. I have flee from Birmingham because now I'm a minority in my own city. But what I wanted to ask uh, from the Reform Party, like, okay, we can stop the boats all we want, yeah. It's still not going to uh, change the fact that I'm a minority in Birmingham. People are a minority in, in London, Luton, Slough, uh, Blackburn, Bradford. What is reform going to do uh, to ensure that we, the English people, are going to remain the majority in our home cities and towns? Well, I, I think if you follow me, I, I've been talking about, I mean, there's two issues on migration. There's illegal migration, yeah. which is the people coming over on the boats. And there's legal migration, who are the people that we are letting in legally. 
and, the, and, and actually the legal migration is a bigger problem than the illegal migration. True. True. And the legal migration can actually be resolved with a will from the people in power. Mm. And my own view is that immigration should be, shouldn't be banned, but it should be minimal, and it should only be allowed if the people coming in are basically going to add to the domestic economy. And I frankly don't care what religion they are, what colour they are, I, I think merit is the key. Oh no! Why do they always parrot this line? Yeah. Like, they all do this. I'll give you his credit, though. I'll give you his credit on, on the fact that he did say legal migration is a problem because normally uh, I would expect them to say, like, oh, like, it's the boats, it's the boats. When, when, when we know the facts here that, yeah, that it seems like it's this distraction half the time. Yeah, obviously the boats are a, a problem, but legal migration is a massive problem. So I, I will give him his credit on that. But, yeah, it's always that parity in that line, as you were just saying, uh, Dave. Yeah, and the thing is, the... the, the... There is no need to say it, right? Let's let's play it a wee bit more and um, hear what you're saying. To immigration. The illegal immigration, I'm quite clear on. If mm. people come here illegally, they should not be allowed to stay. C can I ask you one question? What what do you think this country's uh, percentage of uh, white, yeah? I know uh, people might frown upon this, but English people are white, yeah? So what percentage, in your opinion, should uh, England be in terms of white English? But at the moment, we're about 83%. We're, we're still in, 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 in the majority. We, yeah, yeah. we, we. Okay, I mean, again, again, out of them all, and I think you're right there, Chris, Rupert Lowe is probably one of the more based among them, but think, yeah. he's still so far away from where they need to be. And instead of just being honest and stating it, but I mean, they're, they're just, they're terrified of just going that extra extra few steps i mean can i just mention like uh mate, i've got like but it's it's very nerve-wracking experience i'm on my own by the way i haven't gone with a friend or anything i'm on my own i'm just I, I only lasted seven minutes in this hall by the way it took me 15 minutes to ride there on a bike 20 minutes <laughs> and i lasted and i only had two sips of my beer by the way and they took it off me before <laughs> me out. but um but when I mentioned the word white, that I did sense a bit of an atmosphere change. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Among certain people, and I've got hunt. I've got probably. I don't like to over exaggerate numbers. I'm going to predict between eighty to one hundred twenty people there, mm -hmm. all staring at me. Uh, so it's very nerve wracking experience. But these questions need to be done. To, uh, be put to the forefront. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it just like people's ingrained ideas to become uncomfortable when they hear that they that's just their natural it's like yeah. they've been vaccinated against white racial consciousness <laughs> and if they hear it being mentioned that like their, their immediate reaction is just to go yeah. off like that yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's like again it isn't really their fault it's decades of propaganda and brainwashing oh, that's done this to them isn't it? Right, let's yeah, I, I completely agree. Completely agree. We've been yeah, there as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But obviously, like I, I, I'm from Birmingham. I went from 95 percent in 1991, and now we're like uh, 40, what did I feel for 45. You? Going, we, going, are, we are now 45 percent in our. Going into London, yeah. But uh, this is his history. What we mustn't do is just what Labour is in danger of doing is just opening the doors and letting everyone come okay, yeah, yeah. illegally in. Because as you know, some of them throw their passports into the sea. I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most of them are young men of, of, of sort of fighting age. Um, so I'm quite clear, and I say it publicly on Twitter, those who come here illegally should be deported. We have the yeah, right but if, to if we deport all illegals right now, I'm still a minority in Birmingham. Well, illegals should, should be deported. Legal migrants is much more difficult. Yeah, but if we, if we deport them. all illegals right now from Birmingham, I'm still a minority in my own city. So we, we, we're quite clear, and, and reform will deal with that. The problem is, how, you, how will you the deal with that? doesn't have the will to do it. And they seem to think that bringing people into the country improves the economy. It, it might increase the size of the economy, yeah. but it reduces the true. GDP per capita. So actually, we're all poorer. It's true. Because they're not adding it's true. to what we're all doing. Okay. So I think we 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 on we're on it. But again, you can talk about it as much as you want. So we've got power. Yeah, it's a private event. Not so we've got power. Yeah, no, he's not reported. Yeah. We can't. I, I mean, see how that private event you can't record. Is that true? It's, it's not a private. I don't see how it's a private event. They posted it yeah. on Facebook. Yeah. 
They did all right. They didn't put the address on Facebook. They said, it, "Do you want to come to an event tomorrow or on his Facebook page? Email us." I emailed them. Hi, I'm Chris Mitchell. I want to come tomorrow. Okay, here's the address. Yeah, it's not a private event. Like, it's a public event. See, you know what I mean? Like I know, like you, you've got all these other parties, like page shops, concerns, etc., that will take steps for you to get into that event where like vetting so many procedures yeah that's that's yeah. that's that's right that's different do you know what i mean like but this this was i don't see how it can be classed as a private event when i've literally yeah. just, i could have been anyone like hi i'm chris mitchell um and if they'd done a basic research on me yeah which would have come up oh he's a far-right nazi blah blah all the other crap yeah i don't see how that's a private event to be honest yeah but, i'm just I, gonna I, put I, your I, channel was, in there everyone can but, give you a sub i mean I'm, that that answer you got from Rupert Lowe is probably the best you're going to get from. I think so. Yeah, I, I I expected less than that to be fair, uh, but I don't. When I when I start recording, I was just being polite. I, I was polite for the whole thing. I just wanted to be that polite. I didn't want to go and cause trouble because um, I think these just questions just need to be discussed. We're not violent people. Yeah. We're not, it's we like the, want... the, 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 the other thing none of them will ever talk about is they'll not either talk about the collapsing birth rate either. Like. It's funny because I've seen like Miriam Cates and all these people, they'll talk about how a collapsing birth rate is bad for the economy. They'll never talk about how the collapse in birth rate is bad for not having any indigenous people of these islands living here anymore. You know, they, it, what, like, I'm not asking them to come out and go like full 1488. All I'm asking them for is just to be honest about it and just say, well, look, you know, white people have been, as you said, white people have been in these islands Europeans for hundreds and thousands of years you know in the last 40 years we're going to become a minority and and if reform keep cucking like this mm. what what are they going to achieve I mean that that's my disagreement with Farage in general is he's playing a role for the government which is look there's a lot of people out there pissed off let's just give them a voice and they'll think something's happening and nothing ever does I mean, like, uh, as well with the video, I mean, I don't know where it's been shared because I'm, I'm a very, like, I'm not, I'm a, I'm quite a small channel as such, really, in the grand scheme of things. But it's been shared somewhere and I can't find where. But I'm getting a lot of probably reformed people coming, just admit it, you're just a racist. Like, like, not, I've got two channels on YouTube, yeah, like, uh, but I'm just getting these, I'm getting these comments. Are oh, you just a racist? Why don't you just join the BMP? Oh, you're just X, Y, Z. Like I'm getting a bit, like not on that channel, but the other yeah. Channel. The reform, reform. The problem with reform so, is it's full. It's, it's, it's reform is full of Tory boys and it's full of Tommy tards as well yeah. that that love pushing all because they are they are so terrified of being called like that's. That, like every day they wake up, they're like, "I hope someone doesn't call me a racist today." They're 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 just they're and the thing is, they are shite bags. And we thing is, moving forward, we can't have shite bags. We have to have people that come up and just say, "Look, total end to illegal, total end to legal," and we look at restoring the rightful people of these islands to running yeah. it. I, 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 mean, don't, I don't even think it's, it's, it's not even fucking controversial to say that. It's not controversial. I don't even know what these Tommy like, we are like. I think I met you in a Tommy Robinson demo. We've come a long way since then. Do you know what I mean? Have, yeah. But what what do you want? It's like you're moaning about all this crime that's going on in these countries. Yeah, it's through having non-whites in our countries that is the problem. And again, it's not about even hating non-whites as a whole. No, just, mate, I just want Britain to be British. Yeah, but like, just, I, I again, 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 like again it's like paper, Scottish, Welsh, Irish, uh, English. We all belong in our island. My, my, my other argument against it is. Island. People who like aren't don't have ownership of something, they tend not to give a shit as much. It's like people say, Oh well, when Brits go on holiday, they get pissed and smash it up. Yeah, because it's not their cunt. Like it is it, that's why, like, when people have things, they belong to it, it's their blood, it's their soil, they're gonna look after it a bit better. It, it, it's it's just it's it, thing is everything we're talking about here is sensible. And and I, I was watching a thing today as well about Canada and this is the other thing. All these countries had specific policies on who was allowed into their country. Canada, Australia, the USA, and it was clearly stated in their constitutions and in their laws that it was people of white European descent. Yeah, yeah. And, and then they, they changed the rules in the 60s and 70s. So everything that you're talking about, everything that we all talk about here, 60, 70 years ago, 
was the massive majority opinion. It's not what what I think we need to do is we need to stop making and in fairness to Steve Laws, etc. Hmm. Just they're tr we're trying to normalise language that used to be normal but is now considered crazy. Yeah, completely agree. And again, like I, I've done twenty five uh, countries at the moment, Dave, um, and, and a lot of them obviously are Eastern Europe. I like going Eastern Europe because you, you get a sense of feeling a little bit more home in Eastern Europe. I'm, I'm, I know you've been uh, a couple of places like Hungary yeah. and Poland and whatever, and I know there's a it's not perfect. No, but it's it's it's, it's, like it's a lot better than where, where, what we're getting here. Yeah, you must admit that. Yeah. And you're it speaking is. to him about our story. Mate, do you know what? I'll tell you a story. I, I was in Serbia and I was in a bar and I met this girl and she classed herself as Antifa, right? This is a <laughs> Serbian Antifa. I told her everything I believe in, my uh, beliefs. I'm just like, well, there's nothing wrong with that. That's an Antifa <laughs> Serbian girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know what's going on in their nation to the degree for her to want to be Antifa and, and proudly say, I'm, a, I'm an Antifa. Uh, so it's probably, it's probably a relic of the Cold War, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah you know, prob probably. Um, shout out to I Woody think, Eleven. Um, not everything give, I said. I'm not, not giving any... a shit about being called a racist is liberating. I mean that that is true, and that's the one thing I've kind of learned o o over the years is that these words, any of them, uh, are are all designed to mm. shut you down and 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 stop that. Yeah, I, I, it was. I was. I was talking last night about that i saw a lot of people went to like the poll have you been to the polish independence day you know what i've never done it never done it and um ugh, i keep regretting it every year so I think the, old, the, old, the only the only thing i say about yeah. it is the problem with them is they're all still totally bought into the world war ii narrative like okay. i mean it's quite hard yeah. to go to poland that's, that's and, problem, and ex explain to polish people that like you know that the stories you've been told about what happened weren't. Uh, I mean, they like, let's just put it this way: they do tend to get a bit. <laughs> they're not the most open-minded of people when it comes to certain things. You know, uh, let's let's put it that way. No, no, no. I, I get that. I get. That. I think that. But, but the, 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 the thing is, you're right though. I mean, you go to Hungary, you go to Serbia, you go to Poland, Romania. There, there, there is still a normality about them. Yeah. Like you don't have the you don't have the gay stuff. You just don't like in Hungary. Orbán's basically banned it entirely. You only see smidgens of it in Budapest, but apart from that, it's just not there. Most yeah. people are pretty conservative. Wait, well, you feel safe as well. Like so, I, I literally spent uh, one month in Serbia, Belgrade, most of it as well, which is their capital city. Do you know what I mean? That's, so that's their London. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Imagine spending a month in London. Or but but then I come back and I have to stay because it's a night flight all the time from Serbia. I have to stay in Luton, and like mate, honestly, I stayed in a month in Belgrade. Sometimes I'm in a state, yeah, on my own as well, three four in the morning. I've never felt safer. I'm coming yeah. back. Uh, also, even sober, I'd be I'd, I'd be in Luton for three, four minutes, and I'd be terrified. I think, yeah. it, like you, you got so many dodgy characters. Literally, I'd be seeing like blacks just standing there on their own, like. In
think about these things, and again, you know what it's like if you if you <clears throat> if you do start talking about these things. A lot of young, yeah, a lot of young guy. I, I tend to find people who think more like us are guys who are maybe married with kids or people who are in their forties and fifties. Like well, they, they start, they start to figure it out. Well, I, I, so 